hashtag the niche you are in. Okay, let's say I'm in. understand starting an instagram account from zero followers and zero engagement can be really really tough and that is why i've decided to share with you some of the results i got from a research i did on instagram last year so i think we should just get right so hello guys if you're new here my name is anekan and i'm a lifestyle vlogger so guys i decided to do a spin on my youtube channel and start this my first ever series where i talk about instagram and and all the social media tools we are in an age where everybody wants to be an influencer and it is really really very lucrative but it involves a lot of work so guys in this video i'm going to be telling you everything i've been able to realize from the research i did so guys before i start this video i want to let you know that i'm not even very big on instagram you can go onto my instagram account because i'm sure some people are going to stalk me to my instagram to see how much followers i have that i'm giving advice to be honest with you i'm going to be raw i don't have so much followers on my instagram in fact i know the reason why don't judge me yet the reason why is because i haven't been consistent if you notice my instagram account which i'm going to very soon put up you will see that i just left instagram for over some months and it is not the same so this guys leads me to my first for to my first ever tip for the upcoming ones who are still struggling at zero followers number one have content you must have content on your instagram account if not people wouldn't want to follow you because people are going to come onto your page and see what you have to offer and once they come and they see nothing i'm clicking off i'm like i'm going to be clicking off right right away so guys have a con have content have something that i can come onto your channel but make sure your content is not crap or people are not going to just make sure they are not crap so guys and for the upcoming ones, I would advise you to have a niche because on Instagram, some niches are more favorable over the others. Like when I was building my own Instagram, my niche was quotes. I was posting quotes, quotes that because I was very, I'm a creative writer, so I was posting a lot of quotes. I discovered that my niche, the quotes niche, the niche for quotes is not really a large one. And most of my audience came from India. And how did I know where my audience are from? That is by actively engaging with your followers. So I'm going to be showing you how to get those followers. Because like I said, I understand you are zero follower and you're confused on what to do. I'm going to whip up my phone and show you how to get followers engaging follower okay guys let's assume niche you're where you're going to be targeting your audience from so now i'm going to be showing you guys how you can get those followers but before i do that please make sure you hit that subscribe button and click the like button too because this really supports my channel and shows me that you appreciate this content so now i'm going to be showing you for my instagram so what you want to do is log on to your Instagram. You're on your Instagram page. What you want to do is come to the search and type hashtag the niche you are in. Okay, let's say I'm in a fashion niche. Or let me just use quotes. Hashtag quotes. So this leads me to an important point hashtags are really important. They're like very, very super important. Whatever content you're putting out use a hashtag because hashtag kind of exposes you it gives you some sort of exposure so once you use hashtags that is exposure then what you're going to do is pick one of the hashtags let's say quotes to live by okay so now what you want to do is go to recent it was not been Quote, if you're into a fashion niche, you should type hashtag fashion. If you're into cooking, you should use hashtag cooking. If you're into makeup, hashtag makeup tutorial, hashtag makeup. Then you go, then you click on recent. So now you're on recent. What you I would want you to do is to click on one of the quotes. Like, let's click on this one. 
find the worst enemy best friend. This is really nice. And what you want to do is like, follow, then what you will do is leave a very nice co comment like i don't encourage follow for follow but if you're going to be starting up instagram i would advise you to use follow for follow and use it this way i'm showing you and just don't go into don't start following random people else they will, you are surely going to get followers but they're not going to be engaging with your content which is very bad for your brand and bad for the brand you're trying to build on instagram because most companies would not want to work with you so i would advise you to focus on getting active followers and not just increasing the number. So now I'm going to leave a comment. Like something very creative and in relation to the post. If you like the makeup, ha, hashtag girl you look so beautiful. Please, your eyeliner, what eyeliner do you use if you're into makeup? Then along the way, you can say keep striving. Your content are amazing. I'm also a makeup artist if you're into makeup. Or I can, for me, I can say I'm also a writer. So I followed you. Could you please stop by my channel and follow if you like. Keep striving. Like people kind of like it when you engage with their content. And they like it when you follow them and you appreciate them. Make sure that the comment you're posting is not all about you. Make it all about them. Okay, let's say, it, let's put it in this way. Let's swell their ego a little. Make them feel kind of special then you drop the bomb that you also have this kind of content on your page that you should stop by and check make sure it's very very catchy make sure the comments you're leaving very catchy then they're going to come onto your page because i've done this so many times and that is how i've been able to get so much engagement on my post they're going to come onto your page or your or your, your instagram accounts and kind of follow yourself and once they follow you I want you to do something. Go onto their page. Even in this process, you can go onto their page and like maybe the first five content they have there. Just like it. Then DM them. This is when they follow you officially. Once they follow you, DM them saying, thank you so much for following back. Please check out my content and like and comment what you think. Comment what you want me to change. And that is how the engagement Instagram is kind of like a relationship. You have to build this relationship with your audience. You have to build this relationship with your followers. And it requires a lot of work. So now, guys, you are going to type something nice here. Then you do the same for, if you can do the same for 10 people, you're surely going to have like 7 out of 10. Like this actually works. It works so, so, so well. Like you're going to have like, seven out of 10 people following you. So I want you to go into their DMs and thank them for following you back and ask them for any advice or whatever they want to change. So now they are on your following list and I want you to actively stay engaged. So guys, the first thing I would love to talk to you guys about is your bio. Now, bio is this you can see up. You have to make sure bio tells people clearly about who you are. As you can see, what I, I wrote there, quotes, I'm a blogger and an author, YouTube content creator, follow me if you love being inspired, link to my blog in my bio. I need to change it, link to my YouTube channel. So guys, make sure that your bio tells your followers who you are because that is, your bio is another way of promoting yourself so guys if you're going to be taking instagram really seriously i want you to work also on the name you use you could use your name basically using a name is very important your name should not be something that somebody would be ashamed to pitch like if you use something like maybe butilicious or something my last and final tip and this tip is super 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 important and that is consistency in whatever platform you are on consistency is you have to be really consistent in what you do and that has what this affected my instagram account a whole lot as you can see i just recently got back on instagram i abandoned instagram for months and i can see i've lost a lot of followers 
and my engagement rate is very low. And that is why my engagement rate is very low is because I'm trying to switch niches because I find that quote is very narrow. So guys, those are some of the tips I have for you. So if you found this video very, very, very helpful, give this video a thumbs up and make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell. So guys, so as to support this, my playlist. Because if you don't do it, I'm pretty sure I'm going to delete this playlist. Like I'm damn sure I'm not going to delete it. No, I'm just kidding because I'm sure that this thing is going to help somebody or someone or anyone out there. So just make sure you support my channel by clicking on that subscribe button, please. And clicking on the like button. I love you all, guys. Please stay safe. Mm -hmm.